So, so in your research and in your, your book, you talk about three pillars and nine habits. Let's talk a little bit about that. So uh, tell us about the three pillars. Yeah, so when you look at the academic research that's gone on over the past 30 to 40 years on trust, whilst there is still some disagreement about the definition of trust, there's a very clear agreement about the components of trust. And these three pillars of trust, uh, the three pillars that inspire trust in others, are ability, integrity, and benevolence. Now, if we take each of those briefly, um, ability, you know, if I'm um, a heart surgeon and you have a critical heart condition, you, you're, you're very interested in my competence to do the job. Uh, and, and, you, and you will look firstly to see whether I have the right qualifications to do the job that you're expecting me to do. And then you will say, yes, I trust you in terms of ability. As that relationship develops, integrity uh, becomes part of the formula. So uh, you also want to know that as a heart surgeon, I'm going to give you an honest diagnosis. And that when uh, we have completed uh, that particular uh, operation, that all the after care uh, the, the, the billing of that work is all done according to um, best practice and ethically sound. Now, the last pillar, uh, I think, is the most intriguing for business leaders, benevolence. What, what, what does benevolence mean? Benevolence, literally translated, is the two Latin words, benevolent, which literally means wishing well of others. Uh, and it's, it's really a, a pillar that goes beyond uh, the... Um, profit motive beyond the customer service motive. It's really about basic uh, compassionate behavior between two human beings. Um, and that if I am uh, benevolent to you, if I go above and beyond the call of duty, um, and it's not simply about me saying, hey, this is great customer service. Uh, in other words, I expect nothing in return. I'm simply giving something to you. It's a touch of kindness. Uh, you are going to uh, much more likely to trust me. Uh, I could be very able, very honest, uh, very high integrity. But if I'm cruel or negligent in my relationship with you, then you're still not going to trust me. And I think it's three, three together. And the research suggests that it's trust equals ability times integrity times benevolence. So it's not additive. It's not one add the other, add the other. And that means if you're poor at any one of those three, <laughs> right? You've got nothing. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Zero times zero times anything is zero. Right. Um, so this is the this is the powerful piece. But equally, the opportunity of that formula is that if you're good, very good at all three, you're going to be light years ahead of the competition. So this is the opportunity of that formula. There are, there are risks of that formula and, and opportunities for for business leaders in that. All right.